Hello and welcome back to the last edition of the InstaFilter series for this year. I want to thank you all and wish you the very best for the next year. May 2022 be a safe, healthy and a creative year for all of us. This video was inspired from a viewer asking about a black and white workflow. I'm planning to do a full video on a black and white workflow but I wanted to share this quick and easy tip to make your black and white photos more interesting. Let's start by duplicating our original image by pressing Command J and turn it off for the time being. I will use it later for comparing the before and the after. Now we're going to add two adjustments. The first adjustment is an invert adjustment. I will also make sure it becomes a clipped child of the image by dragging and dropping it on the title of our image layer. With the invert adjustment applied, the blacks have become white and vice versa. We can now use this to give more contrast to our image by setting its blend mode to subtract. This will make the darker areas super dark, but will not touch the bright areas that much. It makes the image much more interesting, but we lost a lot of detail. To get the detail back, I'm going to add a second adjustment, which will be the brightness and contrast adjustment. I will move it below the invert adjustment. This way, the brightness and the contrast adjustment will be applied first and gives us control on the invert adjustment. However, the contrast will still be too much in most cases. To fix that, I'm going to adjust the blend ranges of the invert adjustment. If I make sure it gradually applies to the darker areas and lower the effect of the darker areas from the invert layer, the result will be much more pleasing. Let's now fix the brightness and the contrast for the applied blend range. And there we have it. Let's have a look at the before and the after. I think the end result is much more interesting. With black and white photos, you want to have nice blacks and whites with a good range of grays. I also updated my InstaFilter macros with this method. Link will be in the description. So let's try this method on a couple of other photos and I will share one more bonus tip with you along the way. Here's another interesting photo. Let's apply the macros to it. Awesome! After applying the macro, you probably will need to adjust the brightness and contrast to fine-tune the effect. This photo, I'm going to make it a bit darker, so the white lines guide your eyes to the clouds. Let's continue with the next image and apply our macro. Awesome! And again, with the brightness and the contrast adjustment, we can fine-tune it to our liking. Another example. Let's just apply the macro and have a look at the before and the after. Not bad at all. Quickly moving to the next example image, on which I'm going to share another tip with you. But first, let's apply the macro and adjust the brightness and the contrast. This time, I will make the image a bit brighter than usual. Reason for this is that I'm going to apply an exposure adjustment and lower the exposure, so the image gets a tiny bit darker. With a black brush, I'm going to mask out the exposure effect from our subject. This will make the subject stand out and generates a much more interesting look. If we look at the before and the after, you notice that our subject gets the attention instead of the white highlights on the street. Let's apply the same technique to the next portrait photo. I will apply the macro, adjust the brightness and the contrast and finally add an exposure adjustment to darken the image a tiny bit. Now I can paint back in the bright areas by masking out the exposure adjustment, for example in the eyes and the highlights in the hair. Let's have a look at the before and the after. Pretty awesome. Time for the next image. This is a more washed out image. 
Let's start by applying the macro and adjust the brightness and the contrast. In this image, I'm not getting the effect I'm looking for by adjusting the brightness and the contrast only. But we can still adjust the blend range of our invert layer. That looks much more interesting. Now, as a final step, the exposure adjustment and masking out are subject to get an amazing photo. Awesome! This method can also be applied to color photos, however, it might not work so well depending on the image, and would probably need further adjustments. Here is an example photo where the same steps were applied and in this case it generates an interesting and a more saturated image. Well, I hope you liked this video and as always, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Keep safe and keep being creative. A happy new year and until the next video.